Okay, everyone, so we're in Bolton on Water, which we'll have a proper look at when we finish the walk. But we're going to start this walk, and we believe we start here on Windrush Ray. So we're going to start our walk in Bolton on Water. You can see there's a sign here. It says Public Footpath, Windrush Way. So onward we go. So we're walking along the stream. Slightly breezy today, but comfortable enough for a pleasant Monday morning walk. I've called it the Slaughter's Walk because it should take us to Upper and Lower Slaughter, which is supposedly supposed to be both pretty areas. This looks interesting, looks like we've got to cross the bridge here. I'm not really sure which way to go, but look how pretty that is, that is gorgeous. And we can't go left, but it's private. So that is rather pretty, isn't it? So I think we'll carry on across here. Sam with the dogs, taking a photo. Onward we go. Oh, I do like this. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So we're coming to the road here where we turn left. And as you can see by the sign there, you can tell you on the Windrush Way. So we're continuing in this direction. There's a sign saying here that we must restrict ourselves to 20 miles an hour. Well, I don't think we're likely to walk any quicker than that, so I think we're okay. So we are now coming to a T-junction. We have to cross the road. I'll just show it to you on the map. If you can see that, we've got to do some funny manoeuvre here, but cross over the main road and continue following the stream, basically. So hopefully we can navigate that when we get there. So we believe we have to cross the road here. You can see that Simon says to Cheltenham, Simon's to stay the other way. So we go through this gate. Oop. Should we close the gate behind us? And we should go up this path, which should really follow to the left and continue along the stream, which actually, if I look over here, I can see the stream. So yes, I feel confident again that we're going in the right direction. So we're currently making our way away from Borton on Water where we started and um, we're currently walking towards the two slaughters as I say which is supposed to be two very pretty areas so we come to another gate here which Louis seems to have just gone under Oops, sorry Eddie hello Eddie Oop. Walking ahead of me here. Not too much to see here, except hedges on the left and a field on the right. But pleasant nonetheless. So it's a good temperature today. Felt it was a bit cool at first, but I think it's the ideal walking weather. Nice little bit of sun to keep you smiling. It's not too hot to keep walking. Anyway, we shall carry on. Well, dogs seem to be enjoying it. Here they come, Eddie in front, Louis close behind. Sam's right at the back there. Give us a wave, Sam. Well, hey. We're getting towards the end of the field. And we keep walking onward for a bit into a wooded area. See where this takes us. Yeah, so you can see here, the Windrush Way, which we were following, carries on to the left, but the walk that we're doing carries on to the right, the Gloucestershire Way Public Bridle Way, up here. So that's where we're going to go in a moment. So I'm coming with the dogs. Thank you. So make sure we close the gate. So we are continuing along this path. It's 
quite a walk. A slight gradient, so you're going uphill slightly. Which makes it a little harder work, but nothing too strenuous. You can hopefully tell by the map that we've gone slightly off course. But we don't really understand how because we didn't see a track off to the right. So we're going to continue up here and try and re-navigate at the road, which we believe is up here somewhere. But we do need to navigate back to where we should have been. So all I know is at the moment that we need to walk up this road and then branch off to a road on the right, which should take us towards Upper Slaughter, which is where we were hoping to go to. Right, so we're walking up here and we can see a road to the right, which I'm assuming is the road we need to take. You can see it in the distance with a traffic cone and a road sign. This is all near a place called Manor Farm, is all I can tell you. So we're near the road sign now and we can see it says Upper Slaughter and Lower Slaughter, which obviously confirms that we do definitely need to turn right, so that's what we shall do. And so there's some work going on the road down here. Yes, we are continuing our way down into Upper Slaughter. Right, so we're nearly at the bottom of the hill, and at the bottom of the hill we turn left. Uh, we would have come, if we'd stayed on the correct route, we would have come from that direction, along the road here. So we're quite pleased that we didn't go too far out of the way. So, as you can see, they are resurfacing the road, and um, the workmen, the road is closed off. So they've let us walk down it, but advised us to carry the dogs. So I'm carrying Eddie, Sam's carrying Louie. But as you can see, the sign just down here, it isn't very far. So we're coming to the end of our little carry the dog route, which is good because my arm's about to fall off. You can see we're going to turn right here into upper slaughter and lower swell, whatever that is. Right, let's put the dog down. There it is. No worse, the weather. As you can see, the work was still working. Close this road off as well. Yeah, this is all looking quite pretty. As expected from what everyone's told us. Nice little farmhouse here. What a gorgeous entrance with the door behind it. That is beautiful. Continuing our little walk round up the slaughter. So that was up the slaughter. Very pretty, not very big. But Probably what adds to the appeal. Anyway, the footpath seems to go off in two directions. I've got to try and work out which one, which way we want to go. Well, according to the, we should be walking in that direction. So onward and upward, inward and outward. Off we go. Right, so we are continuing our way from upper slaughter to lower slaughter. Still. I found a little plaque here with Prince Charles and Lady Diana. I assume that means that they were here in 1981. So I can't think what else it might mean, but I have to do a bit of research on that. But I assume that's what it means that they were here at that time. We're walking out into this, which does look very pretty. So I'm assuming this is Lower Slaughter. So yes, I can see the attraction of this place. It does look very nice craft shop and cafe. Yes, yeah, so we've come from there where the mill is and we're now going to walk down here and down here which all looks very pretty indeed. So all is good. Certainly a very pretty area here. Once again with the stream running right through the, through the middle of it. Looks 
So there's an art exhibition in over to our right. So we're now starting to leave um, Lower Slaughter and make our way back to Borton on the Water, which is where we started the walk. So still got a way to go yet. But this is going to be a nice, pleasant walk along here, along the stream. It's very quiet here. They're very pretty. Don't we agree that we like Lower Slaughter? Lots of horses in the background. Turn you along here until we hit the road. And turn left at the lights, which will take us back into Horton on the Water. So we'll continue walking down this way. It should take us back into Borton on the Water. So this is Borton on the Water, which as you can see is very pretty. I say, very busy though. But it certainly is very nice. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this walk. Wasn't sure about it. Sorry for the commentary and lack of information, but that's what happens when you don't really know where you are and somewhere you haven't been before. So a lot of people recommended Borton on the Water. A lot of people have recommended the Slaughters. Upper Slaughter and Lower Slaughter. So Upper Slaughter we liked, but very small. Um, but very pretty for what there is there. And then walking down into Lower Slaughter. Lower Slaughter is, I would say, spectacular. Actually, it's a gorgeous little village there. And a lovely little cafe and gift shop to stop off and have something to eat and a welcome break. So, anyway, to say, I hope you've enjoyed this trip with us to um, the slaughters in the Cotswolds. And until the next time, see you then. Thanks for joining me.